<laughs> Flourishing the decorations. Dunedin's Art Centre began as a space for people to visit and harness creative talents in a therapeutic way 30 years ago, following the closure of Cherry Farm, now known as Hawkesbury Village. New director Paul Smith has brought strong credentials from the NGO sector, having run Dunedin's Midwinter Carnival for many years. Like other art centre staff and artists, Smith is in celebration mode and is pleased the organisation is surviving. There's never any guarantees of funding uh, forever for anyone. So it's a wonderful achievement by a whole cast of people, um, trustees, um, directors, staff and the artists who attend over the many years. Um, and we've had fantastic support from the wider community. Art Centre moved from Crawford Street next door to Sammy's into the former Hayward Auction House building in Princess Street earlier this year. It's a transition that Smith says has increased the number of people working in the space. The numbers have been increasing this year in particular and um, they're higher than they have been for quite a few years and I think that's uh, largely due to the new location of Art Centre on Prince's Street. It's very um, accessible and it's got a higher profile. Funding of health services, particularly mental health services, has been a contentious issue. However, Smith says the organisation is adequately funded. We've actually been very lucky with the support we've received over the years from funders and the main funder is the Southern District Health Board, the Ministry of Health, um, and we also have support from the Ministry of Social Development and we have actually been very lucky to have that support consistently over the many years. He says governments come and go and can review budgets and departments at will. So providers like Art Centre need to ensure they provide a quality service. Smith and the team are looking forward to another 30 years and he's pleased the stigma around mental illness is far less than it was 30 years ago. Daryl Beza, The South Today.